Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new vid of Fox Reacts. Today we're checking out a brand new vid from Game Theory about everything wrong with Toad. You know, doing a dissect of him like what they did with Kobe before. Ah, uh, Mario. So many unforgettable characters. Who could forget the terror the first time they encounter Wingo? The sheer delight oh, yeah, that comes with I your first you. Moto's toss. The confusing new um, feelings surging through your body the first time you meet Bowsette. Alright, oh, obviously yeah. these aren't the ones <laughs> that immediately come to mind when you think Mario. This is a 40-year-old franchise. Yeah, there are a lot of characters. We Not all of them are going to be winners. For every shy guy, you're getting a King Sammer. For every Lakitu, there's a Lord of Lightning. But when it oh, comes yeah, down to the it, there's a lightning. small handful of true icons in the series, and mm -hmm. ever since the introduction of spin-offs like Mario Tennis, those characters are required to come in matching sets. Yeah. Mario is suddenly a game kind of, of pairs. Of course, you have the original duo that started it all, Mario and Luigi. You have the dueling oh, princesses, yeah. Peach and Daisy. For every Classic. Bowser, you've got Bowser Jr., Yoshi Perfect. and Birdo, oh, so. Wario, and Meme God. So then where does that leave <laughs> Meme God? Nice. Fortunately, when Mario Kart Double Dash released back in uh, 2003, whew, that is nearly 20 years old. Oh boy, I, I am going to need a minute to process this. Existential crises about my own mortality game. aside, Double Dash gave Toad a partner who's now almost synonymous with the brand. Oh, yeah, Toad. Toad Toad Palette swap the original Toad, give it some pigtails, bam! You've got yourself Toad's girlfriend. The perfect partner yeah, for the only sorry, female what, what was ever that? looking Toad. They're not dating? They're not even human? Well, no, of uh, course oh, they're not human. Oh, it's the twist of the episode. I, I yeah, don't don't spoil it. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, okay, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't really tell you that one. Roll intro. Well, okay, let's just go on. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory, the show that reminds you that the subscribe button is not in another castle. It's right below this video. Oh, yeah. Ah, good old reliable Toad. A character that, that needs no introduction. Someone who's been around since Super Mario Brothers back in 1985. A friend who's old. Okay, now when you look at that 8-bit that, uh, 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 art of him, does he look like he's flipping you off or giving you a thumbs up? Because um, in one of uh, Game Theory's very early videos, it was uh, <laughs> even and Matt was like, "Is he flipping you off?" Oh my god! <laughs> Always there to knock himself out with his own trophy, Ow. show off his washboard abs, um. and slap Mario because his wife left him. Normally, I would follow up that smack. sentence with context <laughs> around the, the random hell? stuff I just referenced, but honestly, even with the context for those three moments, it, it, it's just so weird. <laughs> for a while, it seemed like Nintendo was just happy <laughs> palette game swapping Toad one. to Infinity. Makes sense. He's an endlessly versatile uh -huh. character. Mm -hmm. Need a partner for what Blue they Toad? Boom! Yellow Toad. Two completely different characters, we swear. But then Nintendo yeah, the introduced different. Toadette. Toadette was pink. Toadette had distinctive pigtails. Mm -hmm. Toadette had the whole et thing at the end of their name. All of it seemed to indicate Which that Toadette was meant to be the feminine counterpart Bowsette. to Toad, until an interview said differently. An interview from Mr. Mario Maker himself, Shigeru Miyamoto. When we made hey, the up, original Shigeru? Toad, we didn't really in, have in mind whether Toad was a boy or a girl. Ever since Toadette has started appearing in games, I think people have come to take the impression that Toad was a boy because Toadette was a girl. Obviously, mm. there's there's lots of different Toads that have been in a lot of different I'm games. In he leaves it open-ended, and by saying, we never thought about it, the hope is that the discussion can just move on because if he doesn't know, then does it <laughs> really matter? No, actually, it doesn't. It, None yeah, of this it matters. Matter it's a all. fictional mushroom monster in a game where a giant dragon turtle go-karts with you. Uh, but yeah. I Spousal. specialize in things that don't matter. It's an unsolved gaming yeah, mystery do, that Pat, I'd like to get a definitive answer on. So the question this. remains, if Toad and Toadette are canonically neither male nor female, what are they? The obvious the answer here is that they're a mushroom of some kind. They look like a mushroom and they live in a place called Mushroom Kingdom, yep. so it seems like a fairly reasonable, logical leap to make. In an old theory of ours, we actually yep. use this quote See? from Koichi Hayashida, producer of Captain Toad, which implies that the two are at least very close. Quote, while toads may be mushroom-like, it's unclear just how mm -hmm. closely related to mushrooms they are. The resemblance See? in nomenclature is too uncanny not to wonder. See? So now, are they or are before? they not mushrooms? Well, in the manual for the original Super Mario Brothers, the mushroom retainers, as they were known back then, are described oh. as, quote, hmm. mushrooms who originally served in the court of Princess Toadstool. In Mario Sports Mix, uh -huh. Toad has a special ability that allows him to grow and manipulate mushrooms out of the ground to disrupt the other Whoa. players. Nice. This lines up real nicely with what we see real-life mushrooms doing when it's time to reproduce, which yep. kind of makes Four. the appearance in the game a bit awkward. Oh, we also have yeah, Peach 
such a special be, move from the Super awkward, Smash Brothers series to go off of. She whips out her toad. No, nah, it's not a euphemism. Oh, and it um. releases what I always thought to be a cloud of dust, but reading the in-game description is actually meant to be fungal spores, uh, just like see? mushrooms are known to do. Looking at descriptions of the going... move in the PAL <laughs> version of Smash 4, oh, we Mario. get this quote, holds toad in front of you. If he gets hit, he spreads spores that deal damage. Toad's spores will put attacking foes to sleep, not a counterattack. Always spread spores that deal a small amount of damage. Ah, and lastly, Nintendo has see? gone on record saying that the big white and red thing on Toad's head is in fact part of his head and not just a hat. Sorry, Super yeah. Mario Brothers Super Show, this one ain't gonna fly. Literally. Yeah, Based that on everything we know, all. I have to call it. Toads are advanced forms of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. The games are already filled with sentient plants after all, so yeah. it's not all that crazy. If it looks like a duck and quacks like... Yep. Hold on, folks. Looks like I need to do a pause at full this moment. Alright, that should do it like a duck it's probably a duck you know so by determining that toad and toadette are both mushrooms or at least an advanced version of the sort yeah. we can start looking at real world mushroom mating patterns to get more context to our mushrooms diaper really wearing buddy mate. and his palette swapped pal broadly speaking mushrooms really just don't mate all they do is just go <coughs> and that's it now they have uh, uh well duplicates really there's nothing that really is uh fertilize or anything they just cough out some spores and the spores grow and that's another mushroom right there I mean, most fungi it. reproduce in one of two ways. They can reproduce asexually, where one fungus buds off and splits into two identical copies, oh, or yeah, they can reproduce sexually, one. similar to how humans and other animals do it. To Wait, do this, what? mushrooms will release spores into the air that settle on the ground and begin to grow into root-like structures called hyphae. These hyphae oh. continue to spread on the ground and send out chemical signals to any suitable mates, letting oh, them know that they're ready to get I their see. fungi freak on. If two I compatible see. hyphae meet up, then they fuse together to grow and become a fully-fledged mushroom. Okay, I didn't know that pause all right well it looks like i was wrong the spores were actually the sexual way of reproduction did not know that i thought that, that was the asexual way hmm <laughs> No, Nintendo has never come out and said how these characters reproduce for, uh, obvious, obvious reasons. reasons. But we can figure it out. You see, for as cool as it be to say that toads reproduce by splitting into copies, the <laughs> games never actually give us any nah. evidence to suggest that. What we do tend to see are two toads coming together to get married and start oh. families. There's a Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, huh, what is this, like the original Paper Mario? Yeah, I think so, because of the art walk. Hmm. Hold on, focus. You gotta pause and let load. Now we got it. Found in the streets of Toad Town in Paper Mario, we find a family oh, living see? together in Super Mario RPG, married couple with kids. In oh, the yeah. same game, there's one toad named Raz who talks about him and his beloved Rainy getting married. The oh, evidence in the franchise so nice. seems to be leaning heavily towards the idea that these mushrooms, including Toadette, hmm. can be romantically involved and get married. Does that All necessarily right. mean that they're reproducing sexually? No, but it certainly yeah. seems to imply it. It's, so yeah, that's it then. Toads and Toadettes are mushrooms that reproduce sexually and are therefore hmm. coded as male and female. Email? Yeah, well, look not at that. Quite. Fungi don't play by our rules, yeah, so we can't don't think about them using the human gender. ideas of sex and gender. A mushroom's biological sex, which biologists refer to as mating types, are determined mm -hmm. by a set of genes found in their DNA called mat genes. Still haven't found the matching <laughs> mat cat genes. genes yet, but nice. they're working on it. <laughs> Unlike in humans, where biological <laughs> reproduction genes. requires some combination of X and nice. Y chromosomes, the mat genes and fungi lend themselves to even more options for mating types. Here we Just go. how many mating types, you ask? Well, it depends on the fungi that you're talking about some can have two others mm -hmm. can have 20,000 therefore yeah, whatever specific for, yeah. mating types toads and toadettes are depends on the type of mushroom they are the first thing oh, that man. comes to mind is that they're whatever kind of mushroom the super mushroom is and at this well, point it's really. pretty well known that the real life inspiration the colors, for the original super involved. mushroom was a type of fungus called the fly agaric mushroom with its oh, red cap and white spots appearing all across pop culture and things like the smurfs and movies like fantasia it's pretty Ooh. hard to deny the resemblance between the two but the fly agaric yeah. is also a psychedelic mushroom Mushroom. One oh. that can make, uh, say, an overall wearing plumber think he's oh, saving yeah. a princess from an evil turtle named Bowser. Side note, fly <laughs> agaric is also poisonous, so don't go looking for those things out in the wild. Yeah, However, don't. for as easy as it would be to connect the two, it would also be incorrect. Super mushrooms yeah. have white spots on a red cap. Toad, from the very beginning, yep. has been shown to be the complete reverse. Red, red spots, spots on, on a, on a white, white cap. cap. This exactly. is critical because color is very important in the fungi world. It's the yep. difference between dining on something that's delicious and something that's deadly. 
Oh. So are there any mushrooms out there that can match our desired color scheme that also reproduce via hmm. sexual reproduction? Dear theorist, after literal Let's hours look, of Matt. scouring through just catalogs of mushrooms, I found the one that fits the bill. All Introducing right, Hydnella what pecchi, the hell also is known that? as the strawberries and cream fungus or the bleeding tooth fungus. This oh, is one God. you do not want to eat. Not because it's poisonous or anything, but just because it has a woody cork-like texture. Oh. Look at it. White cap, oh red spots. God, that and that's not all. Disgusting. Look at how it ages. It begins to develop a beige color with brown spots, just like another elderly toad that we know about. Oh, so if toads and toadettes are meant to be related to the hydnellum, how many mating types does it actually have? We don't know. No one has coughed up enough coin for researchers <laughs> to look into it. Apparently, the number <laughs> of mating types of a coin, random mushroom in the Pacific Northwest doesn't qualify as important enough for the benefit of mankind, which is something that I only learned yeah. after hours of Googling how many sexes do mushrooms have, which let oh. me tell ya, took me to some weird places. What Rule 34 hell? is a definite effect for the mushroom world. I need to go scrub my search results with bleach. So if science doesn't <laughs> have the answer, you that video later, games man. must. <laughs> Going back you. to Paper Mario and Super Mario RPG, you notice anything that might help us differentiate between the toads? Look at yeah, the couples the that we pointed out earlier. Spots. Each couple is formed from two different colors of toad. Each mm -hmm. color has to be its own mating type. I mean, there are yeah, plenty of animals that do exactly this. Way using sight cities. as a means of identifying members of their own species, mm -hmm. knowing which mates are going to produce the best offspring. Having toad's color correlate to mating type would serve as a quick way yeah. of rooting out who their potential sweetheart is meant to be. Yeah, and with that, exactly. we finally See? have our answer. After nearly 20 years, we've finally figured out who Toadette is in relation to Toad. They're nice. not Toad's girlfriend, they're not Toad's boyfriend, they're just Toadettes. In fact, exactly. each of the different Toad colors that we see throughout the Mario franchise is likely to be their own specific mating types. You can have exactly, a red Toad man. and a Toadette reproduce, a blue and a yellow Toad, a green and a purple. The yeah, possibilities see? are endless. Well, not quite endless. You guys yeah, know me, I had to do the math on this. I had well, to do the go. impossible. I had to do what science had failed to do out in the real world. I had to figure out how many possibilities of Toad there are. Currently, oh boy, there's no Pokedex for Toads that shows every color that's ever existed, so we made one. We went step by step wow. through every Mario game where Toad appears. 88 total games. And we cataloged Holy. each and every single unique color that we could find. And I can tell you now yeah, that the right. total number of Toad mating types is, drum roll please, 53. 53 <laughs> differently colored toads and toadettes across the entire nice. franchise. Wait, each one capable toadette? of mating with any other color. Meaning huh. that there are actually 1,378 different possible toad couples across the Mario franchise. Whoa. So don't worry, my dear sweet little toad. If toadette's not your match, there are plenty other fish in the sea. Exactly, or mushrooms yeah. in the kingdom. Yes. <laughs> but mushrooms hey, in the cave. that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. And with that, that is where I'm going to leave off today's video. So, I want y'all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video. So remember to support the original creators and all they do. And I'll see all of you folks in the next video. Peace.